Hello guys, this is our third lesson on trigonometry and in this lesson we are going to learn how to use our calculator. So what you would need for this lesson is to have your calculator handy. The first one is very simple. We simply put in the sine of 30 in our calculator. So we locate the sine button, sine. I put in the value of 30, press equal, and that value is a half. The next value that we would use on our calculator is cos of 55. So I press cos and 55. You can close the bracket, it's good practice. And I press the equal sign at the bottom, and I see the cos of 55 is 0 0.57357. Now, I round it off to two decimal places. See the value after the 7 is 3, so rounding off, that will be that will mean I throw away the rest of the decimals. Our next value is the tan of 63, so I put tan 63, close the bracket, equal. And the answer is 1,9626, and rounding off is 1.96. The next one is not tricky, but we have 2 times the sine of 43 degrees. So this is 2 times sine of 43, close the bracket, the answer is... 1.36. So when it's written with a number in front, we simply multiply that value with the trigonometric ratio. The next one is, looks similar than the previous one, but notice the 2 is not in front of sine, but it, the 2 is after sine. That means we're not multiplying sine 43 with 2, we're rather multiplying the angle with 2. So on our calculator, we'll say sine, and then 2 times 43, close the bracket, and that is equal to 0 0.99756. But rounding off to two decimal places, that becomes 1. Our next example is a third tan 37. So what I'll do, I'll create a fraction. So it's 1 over 3 times tan of 37. Close the bracket. That is equal to 0 0.25. But it's important, I'm not multiplying or dividing the angle by 3. I am taking a third of the full value of tan of 37. We can also have instances where we need to add up the, the angles. You can either put this in on your calculator directly, or you can choose to add up 25 and 42. So to show you how to do it on a calculator, it's cos. 25 plus 42, and remember to close the bracket. You can also be asked to multiply different ratios. So this is sine of 42 times cos of 25. Now it's important the way we put it in on our calculator. Sine of 42, I close the bracket multiply with cos of 25 and that answer is equal to 0 0.61 but notice if I don't close the bracket sine of 42 times the cos of 25 now I haven't closed the bracket after the 42 and I have a different value. Even though it's very close, the previous value was 0 0.606. 
So the proper way to put it in is sine of 42, close the bracket, multiply with cos of 25, close the bracket. Now the answer is 0 0.606. Even though the change is small, it will become significant if the values get bigger. We can also divide numbers with the trick ratio. So in this case, we have 24 divided by the tan of 27, close the bracket. That is equal to 47.1. And in our last example is and in our last example we are going to add up trick ratios. So we have the tan of 45, close the bracket, plus cos of 60, close the bracket. That is equal to one and a half. You can also work them out separately. Tan of 45 is equal to 1. And then I say cos of 60 is equal to a half. And then 1 plus a half is also 1 and a half.